What we're going to do here is test a high temperature application of JB Weld. This is the higher temperature version. I'll have to look up the exact temperature, but I believe the slower setting stuff is up to like 540 degrees. I'll get that exact number here in a minute. But what I'm going to be doing is applying this concave convex lens, which, at, which does nothing basically. It's just a glass lens. It doesn't focus or anything or magnify. Basically what I'm going to be doing is epoxying this lens onto this wood burner lid so that I could just kind of walk by and glance and look in there and see if I still got fire going rather than opening this up. It's a poor design with the top hatch. So, but nonetheless, the temperature of this lid, pretty hot probably cooled down a little bit. It's about 353 degrees, so we're going to look at how effective this is going to be. This thing isn't going to have any kind of load on it or nothing like that. I just want it to stay on there. I do have this stuff sitting here. I'm letting it set for a while until it tacks up a little bit because it's really cold in this garage. And I'm going to place it on there and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so this is a really stupid idea in the sense that this glass lens is probably just going to tar up fairly quickly and just be an unobservable blank spot. But nonetheless, it's going to be kind of cool to see if this stuff will hold up to the temp. It's not boiling or nothing yet. Let me check the current temperature because it may have cooled down. About 340 some degrees there, so it has cooled down a little bit. I don't trust this heat gun either. It's probably not very accurate. But uh, so far I'm not seeing anything smoking or boiling. It's about five minutes into it. Okay, so the glue pot is still wet. <laughs> The glue pot is still wet, but the epoxy I'm seeing here is already hardened up. So it might even be possible to bake this stuff if you need it to set really fast. Oh yeah, I just put this on here. Sorry. And it's already hard. This stuff takes quite a while to set, usually hours. So this is the high temperature version, as I said. Basically what I'm talking about is you see how this has suited up. That's probably gonna happen to that also. So it's a dumb idea. I just thought I'd do it anyway because I like using this lid when it starts to run too hot. But anyway, that stuff is dry. It's on there pretty firmly. That lens is pretty hot to the touch. So I would say this stuff's definitely capable of withstanding a high temperature application. Like if you were in a power plant or on a boat, and you had an emergency, and you ain't sure if JV well can be applied to something that's scolding hot and you can't shut it off, it seems to work very well. It's hardened up already completely. It's dried all the way and very stiff. I'm gonna to try to scratch some of it so we can look at it. As you can see, it's completely cured almost. So, just one last look. I like it. I thought the JB Weld might start boiling or something. Or smoking or off gassing, but it didn't bat an eye at 350 degrees, 340. That's nearly hot enough to melt solder. Matter of fact, let's test that out. Let's 
see what we got here. Eh, now I doubt that's gonna melt solder. It would be a good way to see if this gun's right though. No melt. Pretty darn close though. Could feel it waxing up. See it drawing on there. It's almost hot enough to melt solder. Not quite. Okay, it's the next day here. This thing was really hot earlier. I made like almost a 500 degree limit of the JB Weld. It is turning brown, but it doesn't have uh, any cracks or anything starting in it yet. It doesn't seem like it's gonna fail. So after a while, I'll get some more footage of this and we'll see if this thing holds off or holds up. Earlier I grabbed it by the glass sight and lifted it up and tried to tear that off of there and it still wouldn't come off. One more quick note on Jamie Weld. I also used it to seal a leak in this line that was the result of a bad brazing joint. And I was unable to get it to solder because of all the brazing flux that was still stuck in the way. So I ended up just covering this up in some JB Weld and while it was still leaking and it managed to seal it off. This thing hasn't leaked all winter. I've been pumping extremely hot water through it. Uh, 189 degrees is the actual temperature. 217 is just an alarm. But it has showed no signs of failing or leaks. So I am kind of happy with it there.